produced by WordForge Games, this is a second edition of D-Day Dice. This is a cooperative game for one to four players. You can play solitaire or work with your friends to overcome the German defenses at the Normandy beaches. D-Day Dice is primarily a game about resource management. You start with a few soldiers and build your forces up as you advance to each sector. The game itself includes the following. To get set up, you will need to choose a country of origin for your side. You have the choices between the US, UK, Canada, and France. Select a battle map. Then open the scenario book to check the list of special items available on the battle map. If you are playing for the first time, select the Exercise Tiger battle map number one. Now place the unit marker for each player on the starting position of the battle map, having one chevron showing on the top. Now, prepare the card pool. Place the unique and ranking specialist cards face up and within easy reach of the players. Now you can select how many players will participate. Remember, you can play solitaire or with two, three, or four players. There are slightly different rules depending on the number of people assaulting the beaches. For solitaire two or three players, add all regular items that do not have the bullet symbol, but you can take either one, two or three extra cards to match the number of players. The cards may include one special item from a battle map or one regular item with a bullet symbol. For four players, add all regular items including those with a bullet symbol plus the cards shown on the battle map list. D-Day Dice is divided into six different phases. Each phase allows you to progress through the game. Phase one, collect and roll the red, white, and blue dice until you reach your final tally. After your first roll, you can lock two of the dice down and re-roll the rest. You can choose to re-roll them again, but that will be your final tally. Phase two, here you perform your upkeep. Count the RWB bonuses, collect any awards you have earned, and adjust your resource cards accordingly. For phase three, you adjust the unit markers. For phase four, you can rally a specialist, draw an award, or find an item. For phase five, you can move your soldiers. If applicable, you can also meet the sector requirements as your forces enter the area. For the final phase, this is when combat occurs. Depending on your sector, you will lose soldiers from the unit accordingly. During play, if there's some difference between the rules and text on the cards, there is an order of precedence that allows you to resolve ties which start with the following. Awards, items and vehicles, specialist, battle map or scenario description, attributes of the sector, and then finally game rules. If two units are trying to do the same thing, then the one with the least number of soldiers has priority. Keep in mind that if the tie persists, you can simply roll dice to resolve the issue. For your forces to win, all of your units must enter the bunker and survive combat, even if you have just one single soldier remaining. If just one unit fails to make it to the bunker or survive the subsequent combat, everyone loses the game. For units that conquer the bunker, they may no longer participate in combat. This allows specialists from other units to be placed next to the bunker. This helps reduce the defense of the bunker by one point for each one used. If a unit is destroyed, which means that it has no more soldiers or specialists, then everyone loses the game. If a unit cannot move because of sector requirements, lack of courage, or some other effect of the game, yet it is forced to move, then everyone loses the game. An alternative to the standard victory conditions, you can earn victory points if you are playing solitaire or in a competitive group as opposed to a cooperative one. You earn points by conquering the bunker, for soldiers and units that are still alive, and all specialists that are left. Courage points and awards are then drawn. The second edition of D-Day Dice provides a light, easy to play system that is perfect for short gaming. There are a number of expansions and additional games in the system that will be covered in another video.